sidebar, new law wage increase. This is episode 80 on Kelly Bagla's Go Legal Yourself podcast. Hello, my fantastic friends, and welcome to another sidebar. It's Kelly Bagla, the queen of business law. And with the new year, happy new year, by the way, I know it's a tad late, but it's never too late to celebrate, right? So with the new year, obviously comes new laws. And today, the sidebar is going to be about the minimum wage law, especially in California, because everybody knows that California is one of the toughest states to do business in. But if you have the right advice on your side, we can make it a little less painful. So let's get started with the new minimum wage law. California law establishes annual increases in the minimum wage, and they are going to keep going up until 2023. The increases are scheduled to take place on January 1st of each year. So this January 1st of 2021, California's minimum wage became $13 an hour for employees that work for employers with 25 or fewer employees. And then it's going to go up. So if you have 25 employees, the minimum wage that you should be paying your employees is $13 an hour. And if you have more than 25 employees, the minimum wage you should be paying is $14 an hour. That's a huge distinction. Employers get very confused with these types of laws. And and that's one where you do not want to get yourselves in trouble, uh, especially in California. So that's the state minimum wage. Well, what about the local minimum wages, right? So let's just make your life difficult because it's not difficult enough. Let's just throw in some of the minimum, the sorry, the local minimum wages. So the California Constitution allows local governments to set a minimum wage applicable within the government's jurisdiction. Now, what do I mean by that? So, for example, the local jurisdiction here in San Diego would be San Diego County. And in San Diego County, in most parts of it, the minimum wage actually is $14 to $16 an hour. It's, it's going to get really confusing here. So the best way for you to make sure that you are in compliant with the brand new minimum wage laws that change every single January, you want to make sure that you actually go to your local your government's website. So San Diego County, if you're in San Diego, and you want to click on the minimum wage for that local county. Please don't just take the the state minimum wage and apply it to your employees. Uh, There also is a distinction between the state and the local uh, minimum wages. One question that you should, uh, that, that I've actually been asked multiple times is, Can the minimum wage be waived? So if you were going to hire, say you were going to hire your best friend and your best friend really didn't need the money. And she said, well, you know, I'll be happy to work for $10 an hour. I I don't need the money. I love what I do. And I'll I'll do it for you because we're friends, right? We we go back to high school. Well, can you actually pay her $10 an hour because she said she doesn't want the minimum wage? A California employer must pay the California minimum wage to employees, even if the employee agrees to work for less. So can the minimum wage be waived? No, friends, absolutely not. It cannot be waived at all. So this information, again, is very, very pertinent to employers, especially in California. And just make sure that you are in compliant with the law as the new year comes around. Have a fantastic day. This is Kelly Bagler, and I will uh, shortly return with another sidebar. Have a wonderful week. Produced by Heard Not Seen Media, visit imaginepodcasting.com for more information.